Hello, welcome to watch Creative Proteo Mix video. Today, we are going to learn some basic knowledge about two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. Two-dimensional gel electrophoresis is considered a powerful tool for proteo mix work. It is used for separation and fractionation of complex protein mixtures from biological samples. It separates proteins depending on two different steps. The first one is called isoelectric focusing which separates proteins according to isoelectric points. The second step is SDS polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis which separates proteins based on the molecular weights. Thus, thousands of proteins can be separated, and the information about isoelectric focusing and molecular weights can be obtained. The process of two-dimensional gel electrophoresis includes sample preparation, isoelectric focusing, SDS page, and the visualization of results. Speaking of sample preparation, the native samples need to be converted to a physical chemical state suitable for the first dimension isoelectric focusing and keep the native charge and molecular weights of the constituent proteins. The sample preparation is various because of the difference of the types and origins of proteins. Ideally, the process will result in the complete solubilization, disaggregation, denaturation, and reduction of the proteins in the sample. As we mentioned above, the first dimension separate proteins depending on isoelectric points of proteins. Proteins are amphoteric molecules and the positive, negative, or zero net charge they carry depending on the pH of the surroundings. The isoelectric point is defined as the pH of a solution at which the net charge of the protein becomes zero. A protein with a positive net charge will migrate toward the cathode, becoming less positively charged until reaching its isoelectric points. While a protein with a negative net charge will migrate toward the anode, becoming less negatively charged until it also reaches its isoelectric points. As for the specific process, a protein mixture is loaded at the basic end of the pH gradient gel. After applying an electric field, the proteins are separated depending on charges, focusing at positions where the isoelectric points value is equivalent to the surrounding pH. Larger proteins will move more slowly through the gel, but with sufficient time will catch up with small proteins of equal charge. After the first dimension, the second dimension separation can be performed on flatbed or vertical systems on a slab gel. The second dimension is often performed by SDS page, which is an electrophoretic method for separating polypeptides according to their molecular weights. This method often contains four steps, including preparation of the gel, the equilibrium of the immobilized pH gradient strips in SDS buffer, placing the equilibrated immobilized pH gradient strip on the SDS gel, and finally handling the electrophoresis. SDS can make proteins denaturing and bind to the backbone at a constant molar ratio. When applying SDS and a reducing agent like a DTT which can cleave disulfide bonds, proteins unfold into linear chains with negative charge proportional to the polypeptide chain length. Polyacrylamide forms a mesh-like matrix which is appropriate for separating proteins. When proteins are separated by SDS page, Smaller proteins migrate faster since the less resistance. There are various methods for visualization of proteins, but the most commonly used are silver staining and Kuamasi blue staining. Silver staining is a sensitive and non-radioactive method. The amino acid side chains can bind to silver ions, primary the sulfhydryl and carboxyl groups of proteins, followed by reduction to free metallic silver. As a result, the protein bands are visualized as spots where the reduction occurs. Silver staining is suitable for low protein levels because of its sensitivity. Kuomasi blue staining is a relatively simple method and more quantitative than silver staining. It is suitable to detect protein bands containing more proteins. The Kuomasi dye binds to proteins to form a protein dye complex through van der Waals attractions. And there are two kinds of Kuomasi dyes. 
There are almost no possibilities to detect the appearance of a few new spots or the disappearance of single spots in large studies with several thousand spots. In addition, evaluation of two gels by manual comparison is also impossible. Therefore, it is necessary to detect differences and obtain information from gels by image collection hardware and image evaluation software. There is some suitable analysis software, such as Melanie. And the gels can be used for the identification and other applications by mass spectrometry. At Creative Proteomics, we can provide an integrated solution for the identification of low abundance proteins in complex biological samples. We can provide two-dimensional electrophoresis, SDS page, isoelectric focusing and native page analysis, western blot and electrical transfer service, 2D blue native or SDS page for complex analysis. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteomics, we provide the most reliable services. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are very glad to cooperate with you.